In this video, I'll show you how to build a weekly time blocking planner in Notion to improve your productivity. You will learn how to create a time blocking database, design a structure, theme, weekly schedule, and build an aesthetic Notion time blocking dashboard. I've also included my free Notion template. Just click on the download link in the description box below. Let's get started. First, write down all the regular activities you need to do in a typical day or week. The next step is to set up an activity database in Notion. Go to your Notion workspace, create a new page and name it Time Blocker. On an empty space, press the slash key on your keyboard and select Inline Database. You can name this database Activity List. In the Name column, enter the name of the activities. You can use emoji or icons. Here I'm using a circle icon to represent the task. For the next task, I'm going to change to a different color to differentiate activities on my time blocker. Now add a select property, change the title of the column, then add a few drop down options to categorize your activities. Add a text property, rename this column to description so you can specify the details of each activity. The next step is to build a new database where your actual time blocking will take place. Before that, click on the setting to maximize the width so you have more space. Then add a two column component. This will divide your Notion page into left and right layout. On the right side, add an inline database. You can name this database Time Block Schedule. Here I'm going to rename the first column as Time Slots. From here, you can add your time blocks. I'm using 60 minute intervals such as 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., 7 to 8, 8 to 9, and so on. Continue to expand your time blocks until the end of the day. After that, customize the icon for each time block so your planner feels more personal. Now adjust the column size a bit. Add a select property and name this column context. Create a few drop down options such as up and waking, morning, midday, afternoon, and evening. This helps you add context to your different time blocks so you can quickly glance through your schedule and see how your day is structured. Now we're going to add a number property. This allows you to sort the time schedule by ascending order. Add a relation property to connect this database with the activity list database you created earlier. Name the title Monday because we want to assign activities for Monday's time blocks. Turn on the two-way relation option so both databases stay in sync. Make sure to enter the same title, Monday, in this field as it will appear as the title when you open the activity list. Click the Done button. Now you will be able to assign an activity to each block on Monday. Just click the plus icon on the related item. If you want to delete an linked item, simply click on minus and reselect another activity. Another tip is to use the setting here. Turn on the details inside the relation view. For now, you will need to repeat this process by adding a relation property for Tuesday, Wednesday, and the rest of the week. Once all your week relations are set up, you can assign unique activities to specific time slots or days. For example, you might schedule creative or deep work in the mornings, handle admin tasks in the afternoons, and reserve evenings for your personal time. Or you could structure your week so that the beginning is more work focused, while the end of the week is lighter with more admin and relaxation time. Open any activity from your database. You'll notice that each activity is now linked to the specific time blocks you have assigned in your time block schedule. 
You can even rearrange the order of these linked items by dragging them up or down depending on how you want your weekly schedule to flow. So far, you have built a table view where you can see your weekly time block schedule along with the themes of your tasks. The next step is to create context-based time blocking to make your planner more dynamic and visually organized. Add a board view and rename this view Monday. Switch to a smaller card size, group by context, and now rearrange the order of your context options so they flow from early morning through the end of the day. Click the Done button to apply changes. Go to the setting in the property display setting. Make sure to turn on Monday so only Monday's time blocks show up. Your board will display all of your Monday's activities in order. And now you are going to repeat this process by duplicating this board view and apply the context for Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. All you need to do is to duplicate this view, change the title of the view, and the property display to show related weekly schedule. By doing this, you will be able to see at a glance what activity is scheduled for different parts of the day from early morning right through the evening. Now let's finalize the layout for your dashboard. Start by adding a call out block. Click and drag this block above your activity list database. Customize the heading for this section and add an icon that matches your theme. Next, duplicate this call out block and drag it above your time block schedule database. Change the heading title to represent this section. On your activity list database, Click the plus icon to add a list view. Then go to your property settings and choose which details you want to display in that list. Now go to your time block schedule database. In the Monday board view, click the sort option and sort by number ascending. This arranges your time slots from early morning to the end of the day. If you need to adjust the order, go back to the table view. In the number column, simply add the values to rearrange the time blocks as you like. Repeat the same process for the rest of the board views throughout the week. You can also create a separate section below to display your board views. For example, if you want to highlight the Monday board, Copy the link to view from the root database and paste it under this section. This creates a link database view from your main time block schedule. As you can see, you can use the table view above for quick editing while using the section for a quick glance without switching tabs. Go to the setting. On the property display, you can toggle between weekdays to display the time blocks for each day. To make it more aesthetic, you can duplicate the list view and switch it to a gallery layout for your activities. Turn off the card preview option. Then go back to the property setting and display the activity description on your gallery cards. Next, open the layout setting again and turn on the wrap text option so your descriptions are not cut off. Enjoy your new Notion dashboard and I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are watching from. Continue to watch my other videos to level up your Notion skills.